What's up everyone, Cold Fusion here and welcome back to Devil May Cry 2. This is going to be the final part before we move on to Devil May Cry 3, which is actually a really good game in comparison to this. So, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I, I mean, I have been waiting to get to 3, so... At least we can just get this one out of the way. Mission 17. Evil must be opposed and destroyed. I don't really think there's much to get. But perhaps another... Hmm... Another Devil Trigger upgrade might be good. Moving on. Ah <laughs> oh yes, time for the best cutscenes in the game incoming. You'll see what I mean. That voice. Christ. What? What's going on? Is there a problem? You! You! Is... Is that... The medallion? You switched them? Jibated. Why the fuck would he scream like that? No, oh, this game's so fucking cheesy. Alright, well, time to fight Arius again anyway. It won't be so bad, but I've got to deal with these fucking minions, which honestly ruins this, but whatever. I guess Arius is just so easy that... I guess he kind of needs minions in order to be threatening. Oh, I didn't even know he could catch my bullets and throw them back. That's actually pretty cool. Gonna do anything, buddy? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, he fell in slow motion! So much for him. No! What's with his voice? What is that ending? It's just like, it's just hanging out of the wall after he went through it. And oh, there you go, end of mission. Isn't it great how the, the mission where we fight the guy who we've been supposed to, you know, the person we've been going after all this time, 
And the actual boss fight is a minute and 16 seconds. Food for thought. This game's just great, isn't it? It's not bad in any way. You defeated Warriors. Yeah, it wasn't exactly that difficult. There's just one thing left. Kill me. Kill me and everything will be over. I thought I was a descendant of the clan that protects Vide Marly. The ones who have the blood of the devils. But the truth is... I was created by Arius. I could become a monster and attack the humans at any time. Now... Damn, this is some great voice acting. It's your job to hunt devils. was incomplete but the door to the demon world is wait what are you doing my job is hunting devils once you enter the demon world you may never be able to return I'll go I'm expendable You don't need to worry about me. I'm happy if I can die like a human. No. Devils never cry. But... Let's leave it to fate. Heads, I go. Tails, you go. See you around. Do you want to hear the story about Sparta from Mathieu? I know. He did the same thing. Hold on to my coin, Lucia. Mission 18. The hunter shall surpass all who came before him. Very well. We didn't really get much from that last mission, so, uh, yeah. Whatever, I guess. We don't really need anything else now, anyway. Arriving mess. Boy, I just love boss fights like these. Argo sucks the chaos. Right, so this is an interesting boss. Hello. Hello, Griffin. Really? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda got cheese there. Right, so best thing to do is to run around this boss to this side. And uh, attack this side first. So basically, this boss has a massive health bar and is comprised of sev several different phases because each of these uh, bosses that are within it uh, have their own health bar, really. And if you've noticed, these are health bars. What am I talking about? These are bosses from this game and from Devil May Cry 1 that you have to face. 
There you go, that makes sense. That I'm within this boss. And as you can see what I'm doing right now, I'm cheesing it. <laughs> I told you, man, like, uh, at the beginning of the game, I did mention it, there are some bosses that are susceptible to cheese. And I'll go sax is no different. Although, yeah, it does have a pretty huge health bar, so this will take a while. This is fun. Very entertaining gameplay right here. Well, to be, to be fair, the uh, the Yakat Golem uh, tentacle, you can't really attack it with a sword. Because uh, the enemy's movement is so unpredictable that it's just not, it's not safe to do it. To be honest, most of these enemies here... Alright, we killed it. Most of these, like, bosses, it's actually not really safe to run up and attack it with a melee weapon, so uh, it's better to shoot them anywhere. Phantom! Did I really just get hit by that? Fuck me, I suck. How's it going, buddy? to the next health bar. Nice. And that's Phantom down. Right. Orange Orange Orangera, the uh, the big monkey, the demon monkey, which is a joke from Game of Thrones season two, actually. <laughs> Did that kill him? Yeah, it did. Okay. Nephesturus. Now, this guy can actually hit you uh, this time. Which is a surprise. Oh, I finally got hit. Think he's dead? Yep, seems so. Griffin! What's up, buddy?
Nope. I didn't think that was the attack that he was doing. It didn't look... Really? Fucking cheesy me now. Bullet hell. It's pretty much what Griffin's fight is. Hello, Furia Taurus. You're the last one we gotta face. There we go, that's the angle. That's the sweet spot we gotta get him at. Yeah, not much to say here, really. Just, uh... Deal with each part that comes along and, uh... Don't get hit if you don't need to, forehead. It's pretty straightforward boss though, really. There we go. Well look at look at him how he dies. He starts rocking out. There's one down. Okay, now this, this is actually a pretty cool boss. And I think I changed my mind about Bolberg being one of the best bosses in this game. I think this dude is. Despair embodied. So this boss can actually be immune to guns at some points. I didn't do that, I rolled away from him, but okay. Oh my god, the range on the fucking stinger is pathetic. Fuck stinger. Fuck stinger in this game. It's so bad. Stinger's just awful in this game. Jesus, that did so much fucking damage. Okay, dude, don't roll. I want to try and use the sword if possible for the finishing blow. There we go. I punished his attack.
Now that's a pretty cool cutscene, not gonna lie. Yeah. Let's go all the way to hell. Aren't you already in hell? You're already in the underworld? And that's it! <laughs> That's a uh, Devil May Cry 2. It's a very abrupt ending. Strange. And it was uh, believed for many years that uh, the ending to this game was pretty much the ending to the whole series, basically. And it would make sense, but that was actually retconned recently in terms of the timeline. But yeah, uh, that was Devil May Cry 2. Uh, not that great. <laughs> There's a lot of just awkward design design decisions in here. It's really weird. Like, there's some parts to it that's just overpowered. Like, the guns just dominate everywhere. There are too many bosses that you have to face with the guns. Or, uh, if they designed bosses that were immune to gunfire in some capacity, that would have uh, that would have been better to incentivize not using the guns as much. But that didn't happen. Yeah, it's really easy game. Has a pretty shit story. Uh, seems really inconsistent with its characters and design. I suppose it's weird. But it is what it is, I guess. I suppose I'll just let the credits roll out. Nothing much else to say on DMC2, except... Uh, good riddance, as we are moving on to... A great game next. I suppose I might as well mention it now, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to do Lucia's playthrough. You saw some of the bosses in this little, uh, well, I suppose this credit sequence. I don't know if I'm actually going to do Lucia's. If I will, if I do do hers, it will be after I've done the rest of the series, though. And it will be, you know, later on down the line. I have no intention of doing it now. My job is hunting devils. Devils never cry. I know. He did the same thing. But... Sparta did come back. And there we go. A C? What? Uh, 
I guess we'll probably get our total results screen here. Here, here we go. Okay, total results. Dante disc. Uh, mostly Bs, except mission 4 and 18 were a C. That's okay, and it doesn't really give you any secret missions tab. It's not, it doesn't even give you a rundown of like your stylish ranks for the combos or anything. Like the DMC1 total results screen was pretty damn good, but it kind of sucks here because there's barely anything to it. Okay, to the title screen with us. And that's it, that's Devil May Cry 2. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed, and when I next see you, we will uh, be doing Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening, which is where the series really starts to hit its stride. The formula that the series will run off of uh, starts in DMC3. Uh, you know, Dante's wisecracks and his comedic character pretty much starts here. I mean, it was comedic, you know and stuff in DMC1, but it was rather subdued. But in DMC3, it's kind of off the wall. <laughs> and also, the gameplay and everything really started in DMC3. But anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I will see you in DMC3. So, see you then. Peace, guys.